Oh, it sticks it everywhere. <laughs> the next one vibrates every month. Right, my lovely people, we are in Venice Beach at the moment, right by the seaside, and of course, we are gonna be going to the iconic skate parks and graffiti area, see if we can give out a free haircut today. So let's head over now and let's get going. Just wanna let everyone know that over here, yeah, I paid $15 for a vanilla ice cream. That is daylight robbery, if you ask me. Hi there, excuse me bro. I just want to know, would you like a free haircut by any chance? Free haircut? It's free, completely free, man. I mean, I'm in desperate need. It look, it, I, that's why I walked past, man. It looked like you need, need a one. I need a fresh fade, bro, yeah. How's it sound? Can you fade me up? Of course, man. All right. I'm yeah? Good. yeah? My man, what's your name? Joey. Nice Joey, to meet nice to meet you, Joe. I'm Joel. You want to do it, man? Well, f you, you're here now, right? <laughs> what's your name, man? Cody. Nice to meet you, Cody. I'm Joel. Joe, nice to meet you, man. Ready for your first question? Yes, sir. What has been your greatest adventure in life? We took a trip to France this last year. That was our first. Who time. took a Who took a trip? Sister. Are you quite close with your sister? Yeah? We're very close. Yeah. We filmed a TV show, and that's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's coming out just in like a month or so. Oh, so you filmed a movie? Uh, I can't really say too much details about what it is. Yet. Okay. And so you, you and your sister, both actors, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. We've always knew we wanted something in entertainment. Whether sure. She's also a singer, and I play guitar. We do music as well. Okay. And so we knew we wanted to do something in entertainment. This opportunity kind of came available out of nowhere and we're just like you know what we're gonna go for it and see yeah. where it goes and now we just moved to LA like 10 days ago and um, we're just gonna be doing the whole influencer thing just kind of like you yeah, yeah for a little bit and try to try our look of acting and music and all that stuff so changing point is when I met met my wife 10 years ago okay years ago and her attitude was like do it all so now we've seen like every country we could okay like, it's been pretty wild these last 10 years where did you meet your wife Texas. Okay. Dude, I was out knocking doors. Oh yeah? I was selling alarms door to door. And that's how you met your wife? Yeah. That is a wicked story, man. I love that. Yeah, she's, she's actually from, she's from Bogota, Colombia. Bogota, yeah? And she was down there at an office and I was just knocking doors and boom. So meeting your wife has been the greatest adventure you've had so far? Oh, well, the last 10, 12 years for sure. 10, 12 years. Have you got kids? Yeah, dude, I've got four kids. Amazing. All the same woman? Huh? Two, no, this is, this is my second wife. Why Why did you get divorced the first time, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, it just, it, was, it just wasn't there. You know how you have those ups and downs, right? Of course, yeah. And you're better off having those, I think, than, like, I'd rather be up and down rather than just, like, plateau and just, keep, like, moving this way. Sure. So you become indifferent a little bit. Yeah, you know, I get you. You're, you're on a very different path. Yeah, yeah. So there wasn't, like, a lot of... Just different people. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense, man. Sometimes it's not right. The next question I, uh, I like to ask is what has been the greatest challenge you've had in life so far? Challenge. When I was a freshman in college. And you were a freshman in college, yeah? I played college basketball. Okay. And um, first year, and I got in the right after. A car accident. Yeah, I was in the passenger seat and I got T-bones on my side and I almost died. Broke my ankle, my pelvis, and looked like I, all kinds of things. Then I was in the hospital for a few days. And Jesus, man. They were basically saying I wasn't gonna be able to play basketball anymore, and then um, I ended up recovering and being able to play again. I finished my, my four years, and I it was a three-year captain and starter and everything. And ended up working out amazing, but it was really, the recovery road was very, very, very tough. Wow. How did that make you feel, almost losing your life? Uh, it's scary. It kind of just makes you put things in perspective, and you realize that, you know, can't take anything for granted, life's short, so go for it. And that's kind of where we're at right now, we need to LA. So coming up towards the uh, end of your haircut, I'd say you're, you're, th you're almost 30, right? Yes, Just sir. turned 29. Yes. So you're quite experienced in your, in your life, I'd say. If you had a younger version, like a 15-year-old version of yourself, what advice, if any, would you give that person? Do everything you're doing, just go all in 10 times more. Go all in, 10 exit. Yeah, it's change yourself you probably won't be where you're at right now right 100 man so i feel like through great pain comes like great strength and adversity i would, I would just say if you're gonna go crazy go crazy if you're gonna yeah, yeah. go travel travel 10 times more if you're gonna live more. awesome man i love that do everything 10x right yeah. 
it's hard, you know, the answer is something. It's definitely just to not care what other people think. Like, it's life too short. And I mean, I feel like it's a very generic answer that everyone say. But life is like, short, yeah. Yeah, that just, but not, not caring. I'm naturally a people pleaser. And like, but that's like, I feel like held me back at times from doing certain things because I don't want to be judged. I don't want to just know that to be happening. But if I have one day to live, like, yeah. those people's opinions aren't going to matter. Makes you happy, yeah. That's dope, man. Love that. That dude, I like it. Loads of texture in the top. I haven't had this short ever because no one just knows how to do it. No right. one has to do it. Did I do it right? My man. Oh man. Wow. So it's got loads of texture in the top. Yeah, definitely. It's got a mid fade just up here. That's fresh. Thank you so much. My pleasure, bro. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you. This will be good. Bro. Fresh cut for tomorrow morning. My man. Hey, appreciate it. My pleasure, yeah. man. Thank you so much. Let me grab your stuff. You are all done, my man. Thank you so much. Have My pleasure. Day. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for coming back. Yeah, absolutely. Can I tip you? Here. No, no, f that, man. No, bro, I'm gonna tip you. I got no Vinmo, I got nothing. Get the f out of it. I don't want it. <laughs> right, guys, another successful day out in LA giving out free haircuts. I am hot as anything and I need some agua immediately. Great day of filming with Slick Gorilla yesterday, which you're gonna be able to see very soon on Slick Gorilla's page. All right, let's get some water. Stop, what are you doing, man? We man, are here, we are Always at vlogging. work, always we working. Here. We're linking, he's vlogging, man's working, come on. We are in Runyon Canyon. This is the hiking trail next to the Hollywood sign. I'm Star Boy, all the way from Miami is here with Star, they're doing a little fitness shoot. So plan today is, uh, I've been invited to, it's like a little fitness Insta, Instagram shoot. All the people here today are all fitness influencers on Instagram. So, well, I've been invited to come with Star to hike up the hill. Your hair looks so lovely. Can I get everyone to come against this wall for a little group shot? We're just taking a photo. Star's just doing his thing, huh? So we've got a uh, firm hike up this hill. Which is going to be good. Runyon Canyon, everyone. Still going. Pause. Oh, All that secret to the thing I thought. Really? Yeah. And then we just done the Runyon Canyon and we did the harder one, all right? Well, I've the, yeah, the uh, hardest one. Oh, yeah, the yeah, steeper hardest, one. The steepest one. one. 35 states already. That's it's crazy, insane, nuts. Insane, bro. Big states. We've got 15 left. Big boy moves. I'm gonna know. have I'm gonna have 10 left when I leave. Crazy, but listen, we're gonna have fun in Alaska and Hawaii. But You're gonna meet me in Hawaii? I want I'm to, you bro. and Holmes. I want to, but oi. It's October. crazy, it's crazy. Braza, braza, I'm going to Dubai, braza. Why Dubai? down here better? Yo, because we're nearly down there. So we can get some food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What is this? This is... Well, who are you, first of all? That's important. I love Miami. I'm no one. You're no one. You must be someone. I'm a convict and... Uh, <laughs> my name is Lani Cooper, founder of MOVA. This big thing you put... Um, <laughs> under your back or your lattice. Yeah. Uh, it hurts so good and you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> so what is it, like a foam roller but it's also water It's a foam roller bottle. water bottle. Uh, it's for trigger point therapy on the go because I know you lazy b****s are done doing it so now you have no excuse. Yes, I've got Wicked. one for you. So I stick it behind here in LA or here. She it's sticks it everywhere. <laughs> the next time vibrates will be more fun. <laughs> <laughs> right, cousin. 
I'll see you in a couple months. You've got to say LA completed. LA completed. <laughs> We're off people, 13 hours, 1,000 miles. This is going to be f fun. Through Vegas, through Utah. Oh, Utah's going to be beautiful. Lost twenty five dollars. <laughs> Casino has never been my friend. I tell you that. Right, we're coming up to the uh, Wicked Spoon. This is a buffet restaurant I've been hearing about, wanted to go to for a long time. 